Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about, first off, and talk about how hard it is to seek anyone. So I got all of these lockers, right? And once you bury things, unless you forget exactly where they're at, and you don't take the time to seek them out, well, let's just say that that's what happened. Well, that's what happens a lot. So anyway, you got these things, you know. So you got these things, and it is what it is, you know. So after doing all that digging, I did come, I did happen to, I happened to seek one of my old friends. Well, Oscar's probably more of Jade's friend than she is mine. And she hasn't been on this YouTube fairway in how long? Probably a long time. You know. But, well, here she is. You know. And a lot of folks think that, uh, a lot of folks probably think, Oh, well, Oscar's never been the same since she took her first loss about, well, what that have been about? One, two, one two, three, about three years ago, you know, but I think she's been, <clears throat> I think that she's, uh, been doing very well, yes, she's had some losses since her first big loss that she took, but at the end of the day, I think she's won a lot more than she's lost, you know, yeah, oh, oh, go the other way, yeah, you lie about that, Jordan. So, well, it's good to see you again, Oscar. It's been some time. Yeah, it's been some time since I've been on your YouTube fairway. And, Jordan, you're doing very well. Yeah, I am doing very well. You gonna get through one year looking like this? I got through one year looking like this. Why did I not get through another year looking like this? Well, I don't know. Most of your time on YouTube, you were that Japanese one. And then, I, then you fell down, broke your cat shell inside. And then you were that wax Chinese one for about almost two years. Maybe three years. Yeah, well, Jordan said I had, well, Oscar I had to get something to fill in until I could get some other form of myself, right? Right. Well, yeah, and some folks seem to think, Oscar, that you, um, that after you took your, 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 your big loss at WrestleMania, they think that you're besmirched and any wins you got since then and any of the winnings you ever won since then don't mean nothing. Yeah, there's folks out there who feel that way, you know, and a lot of folks do feel that way. Does that make it true? Did I take some losses? Yes. Was I going to win forever? No. But I think I won a lot more now than I think I lost. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there are a lot of folks out there who think, oh, well, you know, a lot of folks out there, probably IW followers, even AEW followers, who believe that Oscar would do a lot more good if she was an IW or AEW. Which that's their belief, you know. First off, you know. Uh, first off, WWE has a lot more of the Far Eastern wrestlers than IW does. IW maybe only has like one. Actually two if you count Gil Kim, but she doesn't wrestle anymore. And AEW only has one. And WWE, there's Oscar, Kyrie Singh, Io Sarai, Mia Ying, you know, and uh, whatever, Xena Lee. So, yeah. And I know that irks folks, because I know in their mind they're like, oh, well, Asuka's, you know, getting the same thing. Yeah. Asuka's done a lot, has done a lot in WWE. And yeah, she is taking some losses since she lost at WrestleMania. And you got Gil Kim bitching about how, 
Oh, Asuka and Kyrie Singh and Io Sarai and Mia Ying aren't being worked right. Okay, how would you know? You're the one that left and she left in 2011 YL and never looked back. You know, how would she know? She can only talk about her two runs in WWE. All right. And then seek that that how thinks that what all the bad shit happened to her in those first two runs, she has a belief that's what's happening to everyone else. Yeah, Gil Kim's full of shit. Oscar says she thinks that she thinks her two runs in WWE were so bad that she thinks she believes that all of us Far Eastern women or whatever folk are being treated badly. You know. That's what she believes. She has no truth to it. If that's what happened to her, then it's then it's sad. But it didn't happen to me. I actually had a really good I have a really good time in WWE, you know. And she wants to talk about how Kyrie Singh and Il Sarai and Mio Yang and Zia and Lee aren't being worked right. Yeah, well look at her. It's not like she and yeah, look at her. She's going to talk about how being an IW those two times was real good. You know? But then again, she has a right to her thoughts and belief. But at the end of the day, she's just full of shit, Jordan. Saying everybody else isn't being worked bad because something bad happened to her. Yeah, that's about right. You know, someone works somewhere. Something bad happens to them, they're bullied, they're picked on, whatever the grounds are. And then they believe that the whole work steads like that. And they go on to believe that everyone's being treated badly. And they believe that everyone should come work to where, go work where they work at, or work somewhere else. You know? You know? And it is what it is. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I have been an Oscar follower since 2015 YL during her time on NXT and then when she went to Raw and then to SmackDown and back to Raw you know I was happy for her when she won the WWE NXT Women's Heavyweight Winnings happy when she won the WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight Winnings and happy when she won the WWE uh, Women's Team Winnings Happy when she won the the uh, King Rick Loudness and Weir Guild in a box. I mean, she didn't win that yet, but she should. You know, you know. And there's just some folks in this world that just want to bring other folks down, bitch. You know, one and you know and nag that it wasn't them. It should have been them. And that's what I get from Gil Kim a lot. Oh, it should have been her. That she should have been the one to do all that. Yeah, because I guess winning the WWE Women's Heavyweight Winnings and a and a uh, and a fighting loudness was not good enough. I guess. You know. Oh, whatever. Now is my talk with Oscar. You know. I'm Jordan Long and I'll see you later.